Hello everyone, this is Meads and this is going to be my review on the Command Gundam. But wait, that's not the SDX version. That is rather a mall kit. Huh. So, actually this is the model kit and I will do a review on this a bit later. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the SDX Gundam. Right there. As you can see, really nice illustration from the box. And on top. So here's the story for the Command Gundam, and I will read it real quick. After losing the battle with the Zetelian Empire that is invading the Mazaran continent, the Gundam retrain and add G arms and battle specialist Command Gundam as their head commander. His rank is a colonel, he is proficient with wide array of equipment including weaponry and mechanism and carries a large assortment of weapons. His true identity is V Gu Command Gundam, the Federation Space Force General that fought Fuhrer Zetalia. Hmm, pretty interesting. And here's an illustration of the Command Gundam on the side. And towards the other side as well. So here's the veteran version of him with a megaphone and an uh, eye patch. <laughs> so here's the pretty much the back or the bottom part of the box. Some warning signs I think. And I stated there 5,000 yen or roughly 53 or maybe even 54 dollars. Oh, telephone. So there we go. So here's the back of the box. Command Gundam SDX. And as you can see, it comes with a lot of assortment of um, weaponry and accessories, which is pretty uh, cool. <laughs> and um, before we get inside the box, I'm going to show you the front part. That's a really cool illustration. And a lot of cool poses you can do with it. And they do have state like some sort of concepts. One to four. And it's pretty much inside the box. So we'll get a clearer um, video in a bit. And <laughs> that's quite funny. <laughs> So here's inside, you do get like some, some sort of a mat, like a cardboard. And on the back of that, it's a, pretty much instruction taped. And inside, you're gonna get um, the Command Gundam and a lot of accessories. Hmm, nice rifle. And I think that's a stop. Or no, that might be the visor. We'll see in a bit. And. Another part is pretty much the on the bottom of this one. More accessories. And it seems like you do have a display base, which is really nice. And different set of eyes. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> and the hands, grenades, and um, other things. So why don't we look at him, just him, then um, we'll start putting accessories. So here we go. So I'm, I'm quite fortunate that I'm able to get one of these because they usually retail for $50 or more than how about that. I get half of it because of Happy Link Japan's um, sale. Plus free shipping. Awesome. So here it is. And initially I thought it's a model kit, but apparently it's an action figure. And actually, you can remove the helmet, I think. There we go. And you can see there's a nub mark there. So I guess someone actually assembled this and just get painted. And um, that's the helmet. <laughs> and here's him. Uh, there's this neck mechanism here which can be turned, which is kind of cool. I wonder if, how far you can turn it. Oh, I think that's as high you can, as you can go. There's a lot of parts in the back. Or peg holes that you can connect. 
and let's go with the sh uh, torso can move side to side uh, I believe we can go 360 for sure but I'm not gonna go to that <laughs> and for the shoulder and you do have the shoulder armor movement too which is pretty nice in here and you can bend up so about 90 degrees I really like this kit <laughs> and um, let's see for the feet I guess there's a ball joint there and can it go sideways yep it can and it can rotate probably 360 as well um, joint in the ankle I guess it can just like oh there is a bolt joint right there um here's the bottom part and I think you can remove this if I'm not mistaken but uh actually I haven't played around with this much so I have to double check first because I don't want to break it and you have some guns on that side of the leg oh before I forget there is a front skirt uh, and it's separate from this one you can go up that high there is no side skirt or even back skirt hmm. and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do play around with it and show you guys what um, the sort uh, sorted things you can do with it or the gimmicks so I guess I should start with the leg and I just took it out so I guess there's a little poly cap there and this can be taken off and I'm not sure if you can actually take this thing off nope it seems to be fixed there and this can be taken off and pretty much you can see there's no box it's just this hmm. <laughs> and I guess the next part so here's the helmet and actually you can take out a lot of stuff from this first off you can remove this uh, faceplate right there and you can also remove this <laughs> and um, you can also remove this part here on the back so it's gonna be just a um, like a bare helmet without the attachment oh. and it's connected uh, with the pegs it's two sides so I guess this is actually a model kit and someone just built it though they didn't do well on cleaning the nubs <laughs> and um, here's the back of the helmet and I wonder if you can do some attachment there but there we go and it pretty much this can go on top of here if we can get it in there we go <laughs> and before I forgot you actually have this little things that you have to attach there so it doesn't look bare uh, I believe this goes here Quite too small, and see if I can attach it. There we go. And the other side. Yeah, much better now. <laughs>